A short distance from the 1,000 plus kilometer diameter impact crater Argyra Planitia of Mars lies the much smaller Darwin Crater, named for the 19th century British naturalist Charles Robert Darwin. This region of Mars dates back four billion years to a time known in solar system history as the Heavy Bombardment Period. Many scientists have one celestial object named for them, but Darwin has at least four, including a crater on Earth in Tasmania, Australia, a crater on our moon, and a very small asteroid for which we still have no good photo. Let's journey to Mars and take a closer look at Darwin Crater to study landforms formed by wind, a science known as Aeolian geology. Aeolus is the wind god in Greek mythology. Some have suggested that some impact basins may have filled with water forming lakes, just the place life might have developed. Darwin's greatest interest during his famous voyage was in geology. While returning from his famous voyage in 1836, Darwin is quoted as saying, How great would be the desire in every admirer of nature to behold, if such was possible, another planet. There are unusual dunes within Darwin Crater on Mars. The high-resolution imaging science experiment, known as HiRISE, reveal that the dark bands are actually troughs being infilled by dark-toned dunes. With its high-resolution color imaging and ability to produce precise digital elevation models at small scales, we have significantly advanced our understanding of Martian Aeolian processes, providing a link between features seen with older, lower-resolution imaging systems and those observed at the landing site scale.